with Mr. Review. We spring into action with breaking reviews. Hello, friends. We're talking about how government protects our rights and corrects our wrongs. We're looking at civil liberties and civil rights. We've talked about the First Amendment. We're working our way through Bill's rights. You know, William's rights, for those of you who don't remember those 10. Let's talk about the Second Amendment, the right to bear arms. Ooh, Mr. Review, showing your guns? Well, the government has had a lot to say about guns because the Second Amendment is just so important in our national debate. The Second Amendment suggests that we have the right to bear arms. But let's not forget that those interpretations have changed over time. For years and years and years, the Supreme Court said the Second Amendment merely protected states' rights to have militias, you know, like standing armies. But more recently, the Supreme Court, a conservative court, I might add, has argued that the Second Amendment does much more than that. It protects your right to own a gun. This has put years and years of gun regulations on call and on, uh, <clears throat> on the exit list. So the Supreme Court now has become a central player in defining what types of laws and regulations can we still have to regulate guns. This is kind of a new debate that we've had even in your lifetime. Of course, one of the big cases in your lifetime is McDonald v. Chicago, 2010. In this case, uh, a man living in Chicago owned a gun in violation of the handgun limits in Chicago. And he argued that the Second Amendment applied to him. That Chicago had overstepped its legal rights by limiting his right to own a gun. Who? And the Supreme Court agreed. In McDonald v. Chicago, the Supreme Court, a conservative court, I might add, the Supreme Court argued that the Second Amendment means you and I have the right to own guns, and the Second Amendment now applies to the states. We call that selective incorporation using the Due Process Clause of the 14th Amendment. We'll talk about that later. That the incorporation doctrine means that the Second Amendment not only protects us from the national government regulating gun ownership, it also protects us against state and local governments from regulating gun ownership. And in this case, old Mr. McDonald, his gun was his. And the Supreme Court said the state of, Chicago, the state of Illinois and the city of Chicago could not limit his ownership of a handgun. Important lessons here. Not the least of which is the Bill of Rights are interpreted by courts and their interpretations change over time. In this particular case, the Second Amendment applied to the states, incorporated to the states more recently, and opening up gun ownership and gun protections for a vast number of citizens. The Second Amendment springing into action with breaking reviews.